Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you are new. Um, so I just filmed my first project pan and I was how I mentioned in my other videos that I was like, I'm kind of thinking about doing a shot my stash. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm more for sure doing project pan. After I filmed my project pan, I was like, you know what? Let's start the shot my stash. Let's just, let's just dive in. I do like this concealer. It's really nice, so I'm excited to have this in my shop my stash. So I'm gonna do it in the order I do my face. So I showed concealer, bronzer. I do have that um, Maybelline City Bronzer, which I'm gonna use for the most part, but I decided to add another bronzer in case I wanted to take a little break from that one. And it's the Marc Jacobs Beauty Omega Bronze in Tantastic. I don't know how much longer this one's gonna last for. Like, I don't know if anyone else is. I know Marc, J Marc Jacobs Beauty is going out of business. Um, but if anyone has had this bronzer, does that, does it kind of lift up like that? I thought it would just stay in the pan. Anyways, I have this in case I get tired of the City Mab the city Bronzer from Maybelline. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm actually going to have this bronzer for just because it is kind of falling apart. But I decided to put it in here and see how much I use it. And hopefully nothing will happen to it. But I decided to put a cream blush in. And it's one I never used. It's... The one that was in my non-cruelty free bin, the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blush in Rose Pink. Um, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it, you know, however many times during the two, three weeks. And if um, I don't like it, I'm just going to declutter it. So I thought that would be a good opportunity for Shop My Stash too for some items. Have them in a Shop My Stash. And if I really don't like the product, I will declutter it. And that will help me minimize that big bin that I have of makeup that is not cruelty-free. Next for highlighter is the Kylie Jenner Highlighter in Ice Me Out. So I decided to try this one out. I haven't really given it too much of a shot. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, next. Highlighter. Eyes. Let's do my the eyes. So I have a Natasha Denona mini palette and I have the uh, mini retro palette here. These are such pretty shades. I have not used this palette yet. I know. It's been like something so many people love and I haven't even tried it yet and I've had it for a while. So I decided let's put this in the first shot my sash and I'm so excited to use it. Next I have from my non- Cruelty Free. Charlotte Tilbury is kind of on the fence for me with Cruelty Free, not Cruelty Free. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. Um, I mentioned before that I'm going to put at one, I'm going to rotate my palettes that are not Cruelty Free and to each shot my stash, so I just use them frequently. And the first one I chose, I'm sorry for that, is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's my most expensive palette in my palettes that are in my bin, so I want to give this one as much love as I can before it goes bad and I'm hoping that I get a clear answer on if they're cruelty free or not. If you guys have any insight on this or any or if you know for if you have any uh links to websites or if you think they're cruelty free or if they are please let me know because I do enjoy this brand and if they are cruelty free I will be <laughs> I'll, I will be happy. Next is the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I thought this would be perfect for um, the summer. And last, what I decided also, since I have um, not a crazy amount of single shadows compared to some, but I do have a lot of ColourPop single eyeshadows and some Ofra eyeshadows. So I decided to make my own little palette as well. So I have some like purpley tones if I want to switch it up and some of those like golden reddish -y kind of shades. What is next? So I have this little Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in Stella. It's just this little kind of champagne color. I think this is on his last leg, so I'm going to give it just like that one more chance. It is cruelty-free, this brand that I am aware of, that I know of, but I think it's something I'm going to have to get rid of soon, so I decided let's put it in the shop my stash and I'll make my decision then. Uh, for eyeliners, they are not cruelty-free, I believe is the Mali. I don't even think, like I mentioned, they're around anymore. Um, but I put the shade Hazelnut, which is just a dark brown, and then Onyx, which is a black eyeliner. I don't use eyeliners too often, um, but there are times where I do. I usually just use eyeshadow if I want, like, an eyeliner kind of look, because I don't do, uh, winged eyeliner 
like ever. So, so next up, oh, I forgot the single shadow I have in here. So I have a single shadow on my project pan. I also have this single shadow. I decided in my shot my sash um, for these single shadows, I have a f two more Revlon ones in that bin. And then I had this Maybelline color tattoo. I'm going to put each of my shot my sash at some point, And if I don't like them, I'm just going to get rid of them. So I have the Sage Social Light. It is a really pretty like bronzy color. Um, but I had the other one, which is called Front Runner right? Front runner that I got rid of because I, I didn't like it whatsoever. Um, oh, my last eyebrow product. I'm all over the place. I was going to go with how I did my, oh wait, this is my only eye product. I'm thinking of my project pan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Um, I'm going to put this in my shop, my stash for now, but once I'm done with that other little tiny Benefit product that I put in my project pan, I'm going to just roll that out and roll this one in. Last are my lip products. So, um, I have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade 4 Silk. And like I mentioned previously, I don't like this shade too much. It is really gorgeous. I just don't really like it on me too much. So, um, I'm hoping to wear this enough in the next two, three weeks and to make my decision as if I want to keep it and try to keep using it or not. And the last two items I have are the two bullet lipsticks that I have, the Alme and the Revlon. Um, like I mentioned, uh, once I finish the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm probably going to roll roll that out and roll one of these, if not both of them, in. I have a little bit left. I still have a good amount. Um, I don't know why I'm showing them to you. It's not like the project. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm going to have in my shop, my stash, and I am excited to use these products. So thank you so much for watching. I am really excited to, um, to start this, another journey with being cruelty free, but like a whole other journey of doing a shop, my stash, the project pan and, and all that.